What's good, people? Thank you as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. The Q&A is up, people, so go and check it out. An hour and something like 20 minutes long. Don't tell me I don't put the work in an hour, 20 minutes long. Although I will say this, um, the last 20 minutes, the sound quality, I think, is poor. So I had the mic on like this, but I didn't plug it in. And um, yeah, the sound quality is massively different. So um, this mic is pretty damn good. So if anyone is starting out in the YouTube um, vlogging world and they are looking for a decent mic, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, Boya M1, um, I think I got it from Amazon for like 12 pounds and you just plug it into your phone. Obviously I filmed this with my phone. Plug it into your phone, Bob's your uncle. All right, anyway, let's talk about Vladimir Klitschko. I've got it up here. Um, I didn't want to do this video just because it's April 1st. And the last time Vladimir Klitschko kind of took the piss out of us was last year. I don't know if you guys remember this. Last year, April 1st, it might have been the year before, he announced that he was coming back. I tweeted about it only for it to be an April Fool's joke. So I wasn't quite sure about this, but a few people have got onto this now and I think there is a bit of truth in it. I'd done a video, what, two days ago saying that Vladimir Klitschko was considering considering making a return to the boxing ring and that zone were willing to pay him $60 million for free fights. That was just two days ago. Fast forward 48 hours and the offer has gone from $60 million to $120 million. I mean, again, these zone pockets are just, they are funded not just by El Chapo, but I'm now convinced that the family of Pablo Escobar have something to do with this as well. How they can pay Vladimir Klitschko, $120 million for free fights is just... I don't know what Vladimir Klitschko's highest purse ever was. Off the top of my head, I'm going to guess that his three biggest purses ever was Povetkin, Joshua, possibly, maybe David Hay. But I still don't think, even with all those free fights that he made... 40 million a fight. I don't believe that Vladimir Klitschko made 40 million dollars a fight. I could be wrong. I probably need to go and check it out, but I'd, I, I, I'd be shocked. Anyway, so boxing scene are reporting that uh, Vladimir Klitschko um, is likely to sign a 120 million dollar deal, um, free fight deal, and his first fight will take place in Kiev, which is a bit surprising, um, May 25th. Um, mm. Interesting, right? It's difficult to turn down this type of money. If you are in relatively good shape, have a decent name, um, and people still want to see you in big fights, it must be difficult to turn down, right? $40 million each must be difficult to turn down. I don't care how much money you've got in the bank. So um, again, these stories aren't going away. So it looks like Vladimir Klitschko might return to the ring. Um, you're not going to pay him $40 million a fight to fight nobodies. So um, they are obviously trying to either push potentially the Anthony Joshua fight, maybe Alexander Usyk, maybe they will try it again and go Deontay Wilder into the ring and offer him Vladimir Klitschko instead of um, him versus Anthony Joshua. So there are options there, but um, it looks like this one could be true. It looks like this one could be true. And um, again, I think it's a mistake Vladimir Klitschko returning to the ring, especially at 43 years of age, but... Like I said in the last video, this guy went out on the back of two losses. No boxer in their right mind wants to go out on the back of two losses. So he could be coming back for that. Um, someone, I think, did mention on the video I did that um, if he does come back and he does become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, he will be the oldest heavyweight. I wasn't sure if that was correct. I wasn't sure how old George Foreman was. But if that's the case, that could be a want. But I just think he wants redemption. I think he wants the Anthony Joshua fight. I think he wants to right a wrong. A lot of people um, have said that he let Anthony Joshua off the hook in that sixth round and that he should have gone for the kill when he probably should have. Um, and I think he wants an opportunity to have one more crack at the big time. And you know what? If someone's going to pay him $120 million to do so, who are we to say don't do it? So that's the latest news of Vladimir Klitschko. Again, I don't know if this is an April Fool's joke. If it is, I'm going to look like the silly one here doing this video. But fingers crossed it isn't. What do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.